Welcome everyone to this Age of Empires 4 build order tutorial for the English civilization and today we're going to go for a fast castle build order getting to that castle age in under seven and a half minutes. So first things first as usual with build orders you start off by queuing villagers from your town center take your scout out and about to find as many sheep as possible the first six villagers there go to sheep underneath the town center. Now what's really important with this build order is that you find your deer pack as soon as you can because we're going to move the food villagers onto deer. In any case, the first villager to actually come out from your town center will go to gold, building a mining camp, and then the second villager will also go to gold. So that will give you six villagers on food and two to gold. As soon as you've found your deer pack, you'll send the food villagers to that deer and build a mill and push the deer into that mill to get the most efficient food consumption as possible. New villagers from the town center will come to the deer pack and until you've got 10 villagers on food. So that'll be four villagers coming out to the deer to make 10 on food in total. Now of course sometimes it might take you a little time to find that deer pack so if you haven't found the deer pack just yet make sure new villagers come from the town center go to sheep just so you keep gathering food. Essentially you want to get 10 villagers to food and get those villagers onto the deer pack as soon as you can. Now as soon as that mill has been built don't forget to queue up survival techniques. Now with this build order we're going to go up to the next stage the feudal age with the abbey of the king's landmark. We're going to make a king that will help us protect our economy and push our opponent back a little bit if we need to and that will buy us some time to get to that castle age with the white tower. The reason why we're going for the white tower is we can be super aggressive with it. The white tower benefits from being able to produce units at 100% the speed so that essentially means a knight will take you about 17 seconds to train which is super fast and of course you don't need that wood investment that you would normally need from a stable. Just to let you all know as well I do have the PDF versions of my build orders available on the channel. Do check out the video description if it's something you're interested in. It's there mainly as a perk for Patreons and channel members. But as you can see, the build orders are on the right of your screen in any case, so it's pretty easy to follow along. Now that we've got 10 villagers on food and two villagers on gold, we're going to send the next two villagers to gold to make four in total. So it's also worth mentioning at this point that if you're put under pressure, then you may need to drop a tower on your gold. That's probably the most exposed resource that you will have available. And so just scout your opponent if you're worried and you think you need to adapt and get an outpost do start now putting villagers onto wood now just bear in mind that as i said the gold is the most exposed i mean technically the deer is on the front but if you're putting pressured you're going to want to move those villagers off of deer onto the sheep in any case most civilization matchups against the english you tend not to have that much of an early aggression because of the fact that your villagers can shoot arrows so if there are any spearmen coming into your way you can just shoot them with your villagers and you should be fine. The only problem might be the Rus scouts which will kind of annoy your villagers a little bit but just pull them away from the deer pack slowly slowly if they are being pressured. Now that you have 10 villagers on food and 4 villagers on gold the next villager to come out from the town center will actually build your abbey of the kings landmark and as we said that abbey of the kings will spawn your king once you do get to that feudal age you have to obviously click and train that king but you have plenty of resources to do so and you'll need to use that king to buy yourself some time. If your opponent's being aggressive, try and keep them away from your resources with your king. And if they're being passive, just take your king to try and halt their progression in economy for as long as possible. The idea and the key is just buy yourself so much time to get to that next stage. Once that villager has come out to the landmark to build it, the next villager will come out to wood, followed by the next three villagers going to help build the Abbey of the King's landmark. Now the next step in the build order is going to be about getting the house built. So your villager that came out to go to the straggler tree, the wood, will naturally drop off up to 45 wood at this point. And so what you'll need to do is actually select that villager chopping that straggler tree. And as soon as it's collected five wood, drop off the wood and build that house. It's important that you actually do that forced drop off because the population cap will come in at exactly the right time for that. And so it's important you do it as soon as you get that five wood. Now as soon as that villager has finished building that house, that villager will go to actually build the landmark as well. So you have five villagers building that landmark. From here on in, the next villagers from the town center will all go to gold until you can age up to the castle age. Bear in mind as well, it's worth shift clicking the villagers building the landmark because you'll take two villagers from building the landmark to go to gold two villagers to food and one villager to straggler tree. 
It's around about the five minute mark that you get to the feudal age and as soon as you do queue up a king to go and be aggressive with. Make sure you scout your opponent to see where their exposed resources are and then bring your sheep home as well. You want to bring your sheep home around about now as well once you do age up because you want to keep the scout with your king because of the fact that the king doesn't have the greatest line of sight. That's where the scout really helps. Now as we said earlier we will be getting our new villagers to go from the town centre to gold. But this is the point really where if you think you need to pivot away from this a little bit or at least get some static defences. It's worth pulling some villagers away from food and gold to go to the straggler tree uh, to get an outpost on the gold. That's probably where your opponent can do a lot of damage to you. And so just bear that in mind. Up to now, not much else to do apart from try and do some damage with your king and your scout. Because you'll be continuing to get the villagers to go to gold until you can age up. This is also the time that you'll be running out of food with your deer and so make sure you shift click the villagers from the deer towards the, your sheep. Bring them back home and this is probably a good time to bring them back home as well in case you're under pressure. We're about to age up and when we do we're going to be going up with the white tower and to build the white tower we'll be using all our villagers apart from nine villagers on food, four villagers on gold and one villager on straggler tree. Everyone else goes to contribute to building that white tower. And now we are well on our way to that castle age with the white tower and new villagers will come out to go to straggler tree where we will eventually drop a house and also a lumber camp. Now bear in mind we'll be getting to that castle age in under seven and a half minutes and I have come across a kind of intense cheese strategy with this where you can actually build the white tower in your opponent's base instead of back home. So I have casted a game looking at that strategy at a pretty high level if it's something you actually want to watch I will drop an end card on the screen you just click the button on the screen at the end of this video if you want to go watch that but uh, a bit more of a uh, I guess milder strategy is to build that white tower at home as we are and we've got quite a few villagers building it so we should get there pretty fast and once we do what we will need to do then is recalibrate our economy what we'll do is take five villagers off of building the white tower and shift click them to go to gold and the rest of the other villagers will go to sheep Essentially, once you've reached the castle age, your eco balance should be approximately 15 to 16 villages on food and 9 villages on gold, and that will help you produce your knights from your white tower constantly. Just to mention as well that your opponent is likely to transition into spearmen if you've got the early pressure on, and so this could be a nice time to produce some longbowmen. Now, we've already got our town center waypointed to wood, and so that will help fund all of that aggression. And you may also wish to think about getting double broadaxe to help boost your wood collection speeds. It's at this point that you might be starting to run out of sheep underneath the town center and so you'll need an alternative food source. If you're going for longbowmen and you want to rush them out pretty quickly, you may need to go for the berries by dropping a mill. But if you're in no rush of getting the longbowmen, perhaps a farming transition might be better. I hope you guys enjoyed this build order tutorial for the English civilization. If you would like to see that English fast castle cheat strategy, click the end card on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all things Age of Empires 4.